Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. My name is Krenad and today we're going to talk about how to make simple lead lines sound much better and much more musical. Just a quick notice, uh, today we're going to focus on the stylistic approach of the guitar rather than uh, theoretical stuff. So when I say stylistic approach, I mean the small nuances and the accents and all the different kind of stuff that you can get out, the, out of the guitar. If you haven't seen the video that I did on dynamics like a week ago, uh, go ahead and search on my channel and that's going to help you a lot uh, to understand these techniques even better. Something that I wanted to mention before we start the lesson is if you guys like my content please consider subscribing, leave a like uh, on the video and leave a comment with your thoughts and I really appreciate that because it really helps a lot. So let's say you want to play something melodic in G minor and you come up with this lick. <laughs> Well, that's a very interesting lick and it's very musical, but there are a couple of ways that you can play the same lick and it's going to sound completely different and subsequently improving your vocabulary on, on guitar and it makes guitar much more interesting. So let's try to incorporate some slides to the lick and see where that brings us. So that sounds completely different. It has much more fluid movements. And it actually makes, because guitar playing is showmanship and it makes you feel much more interesting to the audience because you're moving your hand around and you're sliding your hand around and it just gives it a different vibe. Another thing that we can do is we can bend the notes. This is going to be tricky because bending is not that easy when you're a beginner. So we have to bend in tune and it's going to sound something like this. <laughs> Now you can definitely see that the inspiration for that comes from Chris Buck and he's he's a master at it and that's why his playing sounds much more inspiring and much more pleasing to hear. So after you feel comfortable with both methods, you can try to combine them and something like this might come up. I have this simple loop of a G minor chord and I'm going to try to play all these techniques on top of the loop and uh, we're, we're going to hear how it sounds. covered slides and these unexpected bends and we were playing in a minor pentatonic fashion let's see what we can do in a major key and I'm gonna give you some other uh, techniques that you can use and I call them quick release notes and uh, frills and it just I don't know the terminology of them but let me show you how they sound and how I do it and maybe you can incorporate that in your playing so let's play a C major scale straight up and see how that sounds <laughs> As you can tell, we went straight up the scale with no vibrato, no sauce, nothing like that. So let's try to do that one more time. And then when we come down to, from the scale, let's try to add these frill notes that I'm talking about. As you saw, when I came down the scale, I added a couple of slides and a couple of quick release notes and they sounded something like this. So what you can do is you can just practice this, this quick release thing, and it really, really helps when you, with your playing. It really makes a straight up a C major scale sound much more interesting. So go ahead and work on that and it's really going to help you a lot. So another thing that I think it's very important to mention is if you're playing lead on guitar, don't just resort on the thinner strings and on the upper frets. Try doing something with the thicker strings and the lower register of the guitar because they're there for a reason and I think they really sweeten up the sound of your solo and it gives you much more space to play around with. One of the best jazz guitar players at the moment, his name is Julian Lodge. 
he has this incredible theory where he plays guitar in the same range as his speaking voice because it feels much more comfortable to him and I think that's a brilliant idea and I think you should just spend a couple of days to, to figure out where your vocal range is and just try to play there and see if it sounds better to your ears. So without further ado, let's put these small slides and these quick release notes in context. I'm going to try to stick to one pattern and I'm going to start this simple one chord C major loop here on the looper and we'll see what we can do. All right. <laughs> that's going to be it for today's video and as you might have seen there are a couple of other things that I do when I play guitar but we're going to cover that in another video. If you enjoyed the video and if you think you got something out of it again please consider subscribing. Uh, leave a like on the video and leave a comment because that really really helps me a lot with making more content. Thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for your time. I'll catch you with the next video. Bye.